Yep, that's me. I bet you're wondering how I found myself in this situation. Suka. Hello, welcome to Greg's Grunts. Today we're going to be talking about something, made a little joke here at the beginning, but it's actually a really serious topic. There's a lot of uh, FPV drones being used in warfare nowadays. I'm going to see what it takes to shoot, shoot one down in quotes, I'm not going to actually shoot a drone. We're going to be doing a little simulation using shotguns. So. Stay tuned, I brought a variety of shotguns out. This is just a hypothetical situation. If uh, you're caught out in the open against a drone, usually you're, you're pretty much uh, shit out of luck. Uh, you have to run to cover or the drone blows you up. In this situation, uh, hopefully you have a shotgun. Maybe you can take a pot shot at the drone and we can test different ranges and different different loads and different shotguns. Hope you guys enjoy very informal little test. Maybe some of this information will be useful. Hey, where'd you get that pizza? Hey man, that pizza looks good. Where'd you get it? It's good. It is good. It's Marcos now offering drone delivery only in the Ukraine though, no, sorry. All right, I'm not sure if you guys can see, but uh, we have a drone hovering. And uh, we have a clay that's attached to the drone. And the first thing I'm going to be testing is gonna be this, which is a Mossberg Shockwave. Actually, it's the, uh, the insulin pump edition, special edition. And uh, we're just gonna be using some bird shot. This is Winchester uh, Super Target. 1200 feet a second uh, bird shot. Um, I'm gonna guess that the clay is like 40 yards away, which is kind of a stretch for this little tiny gun, but this is something that you could possibly have on you, like in a backpack or something like that. So we're gonna see if we can take out, obviously this doesn't have a choke, so let's see if we can take out uh, ye old clay with uh, this tiny little gun. Oh no, there's a drone. Hey, I got it. Wow. Cool. I wasn't expecting to actually get it. That's neat. So I could have taken out the drone with this little guy. That's cool. There it is. Got him. Took two shots, but we got him. <laughs> All right, so it's pretty unlikely that the drone's just gonna stand there or 
fly there, hover there. If you, uh, if you have a shotgun, it's probably gonna try to move around so it's harder to hit. I'm gonna have my, uh, my drone pilot do a couple maneuvers, see if I can't hit it with the shock wave. Okay, it's already loaded, I knew, totally knew that. All right, Brian, you ready? Okay, I did eventually get it on the move with the, uh, with the shockwave, but that little gun is really hard to shoot, and uh, I might have been blown up. So let's see if I fare any better with the 870 Marine Magnum. This is one of my favorite pump action shotguns. I'll let it get a little bit further away before I take a shot at it. Harder than it looks. Cool thing about this uh, SOE rig is you can do that. Shotguns don't hold a ton of rounds. So let's uh, let's change out the let's change out the clay on that. All right, let's uh, let's try that again. Um, as you can see, shotguns are hungry, hungry bitches, and um, I'm quickly running out of shells here, so. Probably about 60 yards away now. I wouldn't take a shot at it until it's maybe about there. All right, got it. No targets remaining. Don't fire till you see the whites of their eyes. All right, we're gonna try that again. Right now I'd say we're in kind of a Goldilocks zone where even if it exploded, I think I'd be all right but I can still hit it with the shotgun and I think that's pretty much where you want to be. If you can, you want to get to a tree line, you want to get out of the open. But these things are fucking fast and they'll sneak up on you. That's too far away, it's probably like 60, 70 yards. I think I got it earlier. Would you say any pellets on the drone would pretty much kill it? Probably. That would probably have killed it, I think. But if you want to really smash it, wait till it gets up close. God damn, running out of shells. Okay, next up we have Definitely the most capable of the shotguns, and that's going to be a Benelli M2. Uh, this is set up for three guns, so it's a mile and a half long. But if you have one of these things, you got 12 shots. You got 12 shots, and you've got interchangeable chokes, which really uh, extend the range of your shotgun, which for something like this, kind of important. Okay. All right, it's quite far away now. I'd say it's like 70 yards away. Let's see if I can hit it. It's coming towards me. There we go. Took me a couple shots, but I did eventually get it. And this is semi-auto, so that makes it even nicer. All right, so the Marine Magnum is kind of the middle of the road between the Shockwave and the Benelli. Um, it's an affordable gun and it's highly effective. In fact, if I can find it, I'll roll in footage of somebody using, I think it's an 870 to shoot a drone like out of a window. 
uh, meaning like sticking it out of the window and shooting the drone. So these are effective, but um, with the 18 inch barrel, this is just a tactical gun. It doesn't have a choke and you can't change the chokes out. So that's great for close quarters. Um, it's not great for longer range targets. Uh, so you, with something like this, you'd have to wait for the drone to get fairly close. I'd say within, you know, 40 yards, maybe even 30 yards. Um, I wasn't, I don't think getting any, hardly any pellets or the pellets have lost too much, too much energy by the time they reach the target. Uh, and that will happen with birdshot. This is just regular ass um, number eight birdshot. Uh, it loses energy very fast, and that's why it's safe to shoot directly into the sky. <laughs> um, I'm not going to shoot anything heavier than number eights or number sevens into the into the sky because they'll they maintain ballistic trajectory. So, yeah, the 870 is great, um, but it's it's not as good as the Benelli in my opinion. So the Benelli, obviously this one is set up for three gun. You guys can make fun of three gun all you want, but um, I'll tell you who some of the best people running a shotgun are, are generally three gunners. Nobody can load a shotgun faster than a three gunner. This is of course the Benelli Hayes Custom 3-gun shotgun. Um, it has a number of distinct advantages over the other two shotguns. The biggest in this scenario being the ability to change out chokes. So this is a pure gold IC choke. Uh, that stands for improved cylinder. Improved cylinder is a little bit tighter than cylinder bore. And in a minute, I'd like to try the, uh, the light mod choke, which is the other choke I have for it. You can get full, but of course the tighter choke you have, the smaller your pattern. It's good for range, but it's bad for improving your ability to hit the target at longer ranges. So we're gonna change out the choke on this and see how it does. It also has a 26 inch barrel or 24 inch barrel. I can't remember, it's got quite a long barrel. Uh, and it has 12 rounds, which is also super useful. <laughs> 12 rounds as fast as you can pull the trigger is, uh, well, it can be a lifesaver in this kind of scenario. And it's really not that heavy. These guns are pretty lightweight. Okay, I changed out the choke in the Benelli. We have a light mod choke. Let's see if I can engage this drone from a little bit further away. We're still shooting that Winchester... Uh, Winchester white box stuff. It's just a regular off the shelf bird shot, so. All right. That was probably a good 50, 60 yards away. So there's a Definitely a, a range increase with that, that light modified choke. And you can go even tighter with the choke if you want to. Uh, and that's going to increase your range, but it will make it a lot harder to shoot in terms of uh, making your shot spread smaller. Fast mover, see if I can hit it with that light mod choke. Stuff some more shell. This is federal. Federal uh, bird shot, but it's pretty much the same, same shit, 1,200 feet per second. All right, he's moving. Snake, what's wrong? Answer me, please. Snake? All right, we would have died there. It's no biggie. All right, let's try another mover. In theory, the drone will be coming right at you, so maybe I'll make it come right at you. Okay. All right, 
we're gonna have the drone come kind of right at me because that's sort of how they come at you. All right, this is bad. I think I would have gotten that one in time. I think. Okay, POV, you have you have a Mossberg shockwave and a drone is uh, closing on your position really fast and you've got three rounds. It was just out of frame when I actually hit it, but you can see it fall here. Got it. So, whether you're shooting uh, this tiny little Mossberg shockwave or this gigantic um, Benelli, I think your chances of surviving a drone. Uh, a FPV drone attack on you go up by quite a bit. Now unfortunately I think a lot of the time we see these attacks between like uh, supply stations and stuff when uh, soldiers are not armed. I think that's uh, kind of the point is to attack soldiers when they are not uh, or when they're mo most vulnerable like out in the open like this. Um, that's kind of sad but um, I think even if you had something like this, it would um, greatly increase your, your chance of survival, uh, especially if you spend a little bit of time practicing. Um, just regular old birdshot, that's what I was shooting today, did pretty well. I think maybe you could do better with maybe some specialized hunting uh, shot, shot shells, um, a little bit hotter or even um, a shotgun with a choke. I know you can get smaller shotguns with chokes, and uh, honestly, it might not be a bad idea. Of course, this is unlikely <laughs> to be something you'd take out in the field with you, although, you know, if uh, it, it increases your chances of survival, it's not actually a bad idea. If you have a vehicle or something you can tote this around in, it might not be a terrible idea to have a, a more capable shotgun. Um, around with you. So maybe you learned something today, but uh, I certainly felt a little glint of fear when uh, Brian was charging me with the drone a couple times in the open. It's not a good feeling. That's uh, it's kind of a terrifying noise when it's associated with uh, ending your life. So I didn't even put the explosives on. I know he he didn't he didn't even try to blow me up this time. So I guess I, I can consider myself lucky. Um, thanks for watching guys and uh, catch you on the next one This video is brought to you by Greg's grips This is definitely an American made 1911 with actually American made Carlo walnut double diamond grips made by yours truly Available at gregsgrips.com also, Hudson H9, or Daniel Defense H9 grips are available too, if you have one of those. And you want to beautify your Daniel Defense H9, I make walnut grips or any other kind of wood. Just send me a, a DM and I'll uh, get you hooked up. Nice grips. Oh, oh, oh.